Today is August the 23rd, 2012. I'm going to document a PV6505 Plus here. Um, this has been an interesting fix plus uh, a learning curve. It runs uh, four 6L6s. They ran it at 120 watts. The bias adjustment right there, you just adjust it for a bias voltage and not a cathode. It's got its effects output, sin, return, and preamp out, and uh, 4816 ohm outputs. That's about it. Then it's got some really interesting uh, switches in the front. I'll have to uh, stop turning it around. I'll show you the uh, 12AX7s underneath. Okay, now she's upside down. Um, here in the back, there is a panel right here that you can remove to get these 612AX7s. The main problem with this one was that uh, half of this section right here was completely bad. So it was performing very poorly. And what my challenge was in this amp was to get the, uh, get the settings in the front so that uh, I could drive it from the input here and get the similar and same output as when I just drove the uh, the power amplifier. The power amplifier performed very well, but I had a lot of difficulty in uh, figuring out the settings of all of the uh, controls in the front so that I could get a similar output without all kinds of goofy distortion. One problem I did find with it, and I've looked at some of the forums, um, we have 6.3 volts right here on these two yellow wires. That's what it should be over here on these four 6L6s down here. This thing is on, so I gotta be very careful. These four 6L6s should have 6.3 volts on them. And they had uh, about 5.7. That's not a good idea. You really ought to have full filament voltage. So what I did is I, um, I bridged two nice wires from here over to there. Not a major mod, something that could easily be taken off if you desire, but it, it's the right thing to do. Now I have 6.3 volts actually on the filaments and 6L6s. Okay, let me turn it around again. Okay, the next step is I'll document the output of the power amplifier. I'm going to run my uh, oscillator, my drive, here into the return. And we're going to watch it just at a kilohertz right there, 1029. And we can see it again on this one. Here's its voltage across 8 ohms. And here's its distortion. Total harmonic distortion. Okay, I'll start running it up. Here we'll watch it on the oscilloscope. That's the easiest place to see it. Up oh, to there it is clipping. See, nice and symmetrical. Top and bottom. Not much not distortion. Not distortion is right here. Clipping top and bottom is symmetrical. That's good. And we run it up to about 10% THD, there it is, 30.7 volts. 30.7 is uh, quite a bit of power. That's just driving just the power out. 30.7, 13, a little bit less than, 30.8, okay. 30.8 is uh, 30.8 squared eight divide is 118 watts. So it's doing what it says it'll do. It's performing properly. That's driving just the power out. Now here was the challenge. Let me uh, turn it back around. The challenge here was to get all of these controls set. Here's uh, one channel. There's the other channel. There's the red. There's the green, switching from channel to channel. Everything works perfectly. The challenge was to get these set so I could get back to that level of output with that level of distortion. Now what I had to do was to go to the PV site, and this is uh, PV.com, 6505 I believe it is, and I set it to that. I'm not going to go through but one, just Southern Rock Country. 
and then once I did and I used the post then I can reproduce a similar output of course I've turned this way down I was driving it like at 0 dB a while ago now I'm down at minus 40 so I'll go up to minus 30 minus 20 see that's coming up nicely there we go look at that whoops so I'm get a nice get a lot of output only five percent let's run it up to ten percent so we're measuring everything at the same place there we are back at our 30 volts wow well I was having one heck of a time getting there without having some instruction from the website so these settings in here I found out being not a musician just being a, a simple-minded engineer tech um, I was having a heck of a time getting it to reproduce uh, the same output at the same distortion level uh, by driving the input. But anyway, that's 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 the answer. So uh, seems to be a little bit more complicated these PVs, especially this particular one, than uh, the Marshalls and the. Uh, Oh, there's so many others. I can't even think of all the names right now. I'm getting tired. All the other amplifiers. But anyway, this is actually quite a nice amplifier. It does a very good job. Putting out well over 100 watts. 10%. Uh, performing quite well. Nice waveform. And all the rock and roll. Hope this helps.